When you're building a hybrid team, one of the most important things to get that chemistry are perfect links. And whether you're working on a budget or you've got a few coins to sort of spend, finding those perfect links sometimes can be quite difficult because sometimes you have like a really good card and the perfect links to them aren't that great. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some perfect links that can just maybe help you finalize that team, getting a couple of these cards in there just to secure the chemistry, some really nice options, some of which will be expensive, some of which will be on the cheaper side as well. Just before we get into these, again, I'm using Easy SBC. shout out to those guys because their site is amazing. One thing I will say is the coin totals above the cards, take those with a pinch of salt. Those are worked out by their in website type meta rating don't use those at face value because those cards i cannot guarantee they'll be at that price and for some of them i think they're a bit off the mark but without further ado let's jump into this leave a like if you enjoy it comment down below your perfect links let's get started where better to start for perfect links than starting at brusher dortmund who have got nearly an entire team of perfect link players you can see here literally if they had a german left back that was gold this would be a full 11 uh, Borussia Dortmund German team crazy and for that reason obviously plenty of very good options here some that are maybe a bit on the iffy side of things obviously goalkeepers you never know how good they're going to be to use them but 75 rated mayor I'd imagine you probably want to go with somebody a little bit different I wouldn't recommend Anton personally his defensive stats aren't too bad and he can play center back but the pace is maybe a slight issue the split is a little bit problematic with it being a 14 difference but it's nothing crazy uh same with pascal gross his card's really nice apart from the pace i would say if there's like an evo that massively boosts pace and then maybe either a bit into defensive physicality or a bit into shooting he could actually have a really nice card um it's it's not bad outside of the pace in my opinion the rest of the card is pretty decent especially that passing um Everyone else, I would say, is at least in some way usable. I think uh, Sula will just be a cheaper version of Schlotterbeck. So if you're looking for a centre-back, um, if you haven't got the budget for Schlotterbeck, who I think you're going to be looking at at least 20,000 coins minimum to start off with at the beginning of the game, possibly even more now that he's quite uh, decently rated. I think Sula will be a healthy chunk of change cheaper and a nice cheap alternative maybe while you save up for a Schlotterbeck. Same can be kind of said here for Nemecha and Chan. I think Emre Chan's a really nice looking CDM. He can't play centre by the way which is quite frustrating uh, and he doesn't look bad for center back but i think he's better at cdm personally and then the match is like a really nice box to box uh with that sort of defensive thought process uh whacking a shadow on him makes his card look like this by the way which is just phenomenal and if you're okay with 80 pace being not too bad uh instead if you go ahead and put a when i find uh anchor am i being a complete fool yes i was i went past it that card looks beautiful uh really physical good defensively good pace as well but I think he'll just be a cheaper version of Emery Chan. Again, I think Chan is going to be sort of in the tens of thousands of coins, maybe around 15 sort of thousand coins. That's again a guess. Don't take that as gospel. Uh, with Nemecha being, I think, less than 10k to start off with. Uh, again, you've kind of got the same vibe here with Adiemi and ba Bayer. I'm going to say Bayer. Apologies if I'm saying that wrong. Uh, Adiemi, I think, will be a bit of a pricey starter card. Uh, in my opinion, a dead eye on that as a, as a starter card. And that's a really nice card. I believe he also fits the... Uh, oh, he doesn't fit the starting Evo. Uh, again, it's a prediction. I think it's, he's too quick uh, based on the predicted requirements for it. But uh, if he does fit an Evo relatively early doors and then you whack a dead eye on his card, it's really nice because the passing stat looks bad, but the three most important stats for passing on a striker look decent. And out wide, he's not terrible. I would just say you need to boost his passing a little bit more to play him out wide. And Bayer, I think, is just a cheaper version of that exact same card, essentially, in my eyes. Uh, really good pace. Really, the shooting stats are phenomenal with a dead eye. Uh, for the three most important stats, and then long shot being the fourth most important, looks amazing. Short passing is great. Vision's not too bad as well. Overall, I think Bayer is actually a really good underrated starter card and i'm fairly sure he does fit the evo potentially as well but again don't take that um as gospel because i haven't checked and then brant not a bad little starter card realistically probably needs a hunter if you're going to play him as an attacking cam uh, but i think he'll do a very good job dribbling's lovely the passing's lovely as well great stamina there are some fantastic options at Dortmund. some of the best options if you're running either part of a bundesig team or you've got like three spaces you need to fill as long as they aren't fullbacks in my opinion then i really do think you've got a really good plethora of choices here some that will be budget and some when you've got a few coins to spend 
Another team with some great options that will be on the pricier side of things are Arsenal. Uh, and don't worry, I know I've mentioned Trossard in basically every single video that's existed. And technically, I've mentioned him again, but he's not in this one. Uh, you've got uh, yourself a Brazilian trio, an English trio, and a Spanish duo here. I'll start off with the Spanish duo. Raya, obviously, again, I don't know how good keepers will be. But in my opinion, Raya is one of the best starter-looking keepers uh, for the Prem. I think he looks really good uh, stats-wise. I think he'll be... A bit of a budget just because he's Premier League, he's Arsenal, he's Spanish. He's got plenty of really healthy links. And as long as he's half decent in game, I think he will be good. He is six foot, which for a keeper is a slightly shorter uh, keeper. But hopefully it won't be that problematic. And I really do think his card looks very nice for the start. And he's got that perfect link to Marino, who will be expensive. He will be pricey. He'll be a lot more than the nine and a half thousand coins set above his head. But I think he's a wonderful looking card. I absolutely love the look of this card. And it's a card that I would like to get into my starter team personally. I think he looks phenomenal. Um, and yeah, for me, he is one of my like desirable cards at the start of the game because I'd love to use this card. He looks so, so good. Such a well-balanced card with lovely stats, um, but will be expensive because of that for sure. Uh, English trio next. Declan Rice will be expensive. So this is more of an English duo unless you've got healthy coins because Declan Rice will be pricey for sure. Um, but yeah, just to show his card because it's a lovely looking card uh for me i'm probably if i had the coins to get him i'd go anchor uh because his passing stats are already good in the stats that they need to be uh the dribbling agility and balance is a touch low but 89 defense and 90 physicality enough said about that but yeah he will be pricey uh the next price is in the english trio is gonna be ben white whose card looks great he can play right back and center back i think he's better suited at center back but with a shadow i think he will be able to do a job at right back as well 81 pace it's not the end of the world especially early doors it's nothing too crazy to worry about um and if you play him in in the right system and you get your tactics right with him I don't think his lack of pace will be that problematic. Just have him sort of a bit more defensively staying back and doing that defensive work. He has got some nice passing stats, so that has to be said. Uh, and him alongside Raheem Sterling, who I think will be massively overlooked by a lot of people because it's not like a crazy card. But for an 81 rated card, it's lovely. And again, put a Deadeye Chem style on him. You've got 85 pace, shooting and dribbling and then 81 passing with great, great short passing, lovely curve, lovely vision. The crossing and free kick accuracy is also not too shabby. Those shooting stats, I don't want to talk about it. They're crazy good. The pace is nice and the dribbling's through the roof as well. I think it's a really underrated card that I think because there are better options, he'll end up being a touch cheaper because people will look at the base card and go, it's good, the dribbling's nice, the pace isn't bad, but the shooting and, and passing. But as soon as you actually look at the in-games, this is a phenomenal card. So I think he's lovely. And then the Brazilian trio, this is a much higher end trio in regards to some of the ones we've looked at. Talking like Rice was going to be expensive. Talking about, you know, Schlotterbeck and, and Emre Chambi and Pricey. These guys will be in that sort of bracket here. So Gabriel going to be pricey uh pace isn't that crazy but um overall I, again i think if you go ahead and put the anchor 73 pace the split's a bit iffy but 73 pace for a center back is not bad at all the physicality and defending disgusting 90 plus on all of his defending stats um and 91 plus on all the physicality minus stamina which again the stamina is plenty for me but that is just a disgustingly good card. I won't linger too much on some of these because they are going to be on the pricier side of things. Uh, Martinelli is basically exactly what I was saying about with Raheem Sterling, that you whack the dead eye and all of a sudden that card is disgustingly good. 85 shooting and dribbling like Raheem. 90, uh, sorry, 89 pace, uh, which is a bit quicker than Raheem. And then 81 passing, which again is a bit better than Raheem. Uh, but the stats again that are important, he's got pretty good stats in them. So realistically, it's a lovely, lovely card. But if you're asking me if I would go for what i think will be the slightly more expensive martinelli or the cheaper raheem uh the dream i'm taking raheem sterling and that's not just because i'm a qpr fan and he fits my qpr past and present uh, and finishing up we've got gabby jesus whose card looks again lovely it's a lovely lovely starter card 83 pace 80 shooting 88 dribbling get out of here with that and 77 physicality with phenomenal stamina so for me this is again just a lovely starter card but all three of those cards will be expensive so please don't think i'm saying this is like a budget option like i said there's a bit of a mix of prices for some of these some are cheaper some are more expensive i think the england duo in rice uh sorry in white and sterling will be cheaper i think raya and marino will have a bit of uh, value to them because i think marino will be on the pricier side of things but i think all three of those brazilian cards will be expensive bit of an odd one here but um AC Milan, or I think they're just Milan in this now, or Milano potentially. Um, two really good little cheeky links here. You've got the American link with Pulisic and Musa, and then the English links with Abraham, Loftus-Cheek, 
and Tamori. Now, I will say this out the gate. Tamori will be phenomenally expensive. Yes, he's had a downgrade, uh, but yes, he still looks incredible. This card is just outrageous. For me, in all honesty, and I might be a little bit crazy for it, but I would whack either a Sentinel um, or, which is the one that does, uh, I probably should have looked this up before I started the video, but here I am. Uh, I thought I thought it was Guardian, but evidently it's not. I'm trying to add defending, physicality, and passing. Why is my brain having... So it's Architect. It's not Architect. because You know what? If you can boost his defending and his passing and his physicality, and I thought there was a chemistry that could do it, and maybe there is, and I'm just having a moment here. Um, but if you can do that, then that's what I'd recommend. I don't know why I'm having such a moment working this out. Regardless, um, I think the card looks insane. The defending's through the roof. The physicality's through the roof. The pace is through the roof. The dribbling's actually not bad either it has to be said and he's got good enough short passing for a center back but for that reason this card's going to be like 50k plus i think to start the game at the very least 40k plus i think we're looking at here he has got a play style plus in block as well so that's going to add some value to him for sure um but the two players going alongside him a bit on the cheaper side of things you've got ruben loftus cheek who for a starter card looks really really nice i think he basically is like a chem a chem style and maybe a starter evo or a special card if ruben gets like an early inform or like a, a special card early doors then i think this card will just look so 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 good um if you run him as that sort of slightly more either box to box or a defensive minded box to box is if that makes sense that's sort of how i would work it but uh whacking an anchor onto him 85 pace 82 dribbling by the way which is lovely lovely stats the balance is a touch low, but outside of that, it's really good. The shooting's good in the stats it needs to be. The passing's good in the stats it needs to be. And then defending goes up to 82, physicality up to 88. It's a lovely card. It really, really is. Um, and to make it a slightly cheaper addition to that duo, and I will show you very quickly, I will show you Tammy's uh, Evoed card because I think it is important to consider sometimes um, when you're building these starter teams what your building towards i think at times and i think that's easy to look past but tammy abraham is he the best option for this evo no i don't think it is and if you want to see some of the best options check out my most recent videos because i did one where i look at all the best options in my opinion um shameless plug but uh, this card is not bad and if you're looking to run like let's say a chelsea pass and present um or let's say you're looking to run a syria team or you're a milan fan or anything like that this is not a bad shout the passing's a touch on the low side. The dribbling's a touch on the low side in agility and balance, but really good elsewhere. The stamina's a touch low, granted. But again, I think with future Evos, that probably will get improved. Overall, it is a really nice card. And yes, you're not adding this card to your team. You're adding this card to your team. And it is worth bearing that in mind. Overall, though, I don't think this is a bad starter card. That's kind of... This is where this link is coming into it. Abraham and Ruben, really nice together as a starter link. Uh, the reason I've included Tamori in there is because he also links. But if you're budgeting to use Abraham, you're not buying Tamori. If you're buying Tamori, you don't need to budget to buy Abraham. I hope that makes sense. So this is kind of like, this is a duo and this is potentially a duo. I wouldn't run this as a trio because these two just don't make sense coin-wise to be in the same team. But I think that Abraham's a decent enough starter card. The three-star, three-star, not ideal. But again, if you're working with a budget, I think it's worth throwing Tammy in there in a front two, in my opinion. I wouldn't run him on his own up front. In a front two with Ruben Loftus-Cheek to get him that perfect chemistry. Hope that makes sense because that one was a bit long-winded. But there's reasons why I've included them because I think they're still good enough. This American duo, however, yes, please. I've talked at length about how good I think this Pulisic card is. I think he is unreal. Theme of the day, whack a dead eye on the card and the card becomes unreal because it does. That card is disgustingly good. 88 pace, 89 shooting, 84 passing and 86 dribbling. 76 stamina, stats basically. And every stat that he needs to be good at, he's good at it. That's the way to word it. Four star, five star as well. Can play on the left or the right. It's a phenomenal card uh, and it's a card that I absolutely love. Uh, it must be said. Uh, and when you look at this Musa card as well, he's not too shabby, you know, and he's kind of suitable to play either defensively or offensively um again if you go ahead and just just boost the stats that 
that are needed, like a powerhouse, for example. You've then got 78 defending and 78 passing. He's already rapid. His dribbling's already quite nice. He's already physical. The only thing then he's missing is a bit of shooting. But if you're running him defensively, that doesn't really matter. If you're choosing to run him offensively, then you could go with a dead eye and his defending then is the thing that's sort of lacking a little bit. So in, in my opinion, you boost at least two of the defending, shooting, passing stats on this card and play him in the way that you think that card then dictates. Because it's a lovely starter card. I really do think that he is very viable for the start of the game. And whacking him with Pulisic to get that perfect link. One more Serie A player from any team in the Serie A and those two are guaranteed chemistry. So as long as that third player links to other people in your team as well, then that's an easy little duo to put in. And I think a really nice duo as well. Now I have plenty more of these where I've got uh, loads of teams from the Prem that I've done. I've done some teams for the women's leagues. I've done some teams from other big leagues and some of the smaller leagues. If you'd like to see some more of these, then comment down below and I will do my best to find some. But I think it's really important early doors to find these sort of options because while we're all working with lower budgets, and I know sometimes people will say, oh, you're never gonna use these teams. You're never gonna use these cards. Some people will have to, myself included. I will be saving my coins as much as I can to go towards my QPR team. I had so much fun building an entire QPR team last year, past and present. Every single player in my starting 11, apart from Azmir Begovic, because we couldn't do goalkeeper Evos, please goalkeeper Evos exist. Please, for the love of all that's holy EA, have goalkeeper Evos exist. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's so nice to end the game with like a full 95 rated plus squad. I've had like four or five 99 rated cards in that QPR team. So it's so sick. I love it. Please keep doing that EA. Um, and yeah, I'm saving all my coins for that. So it's helpful for me to find these cheap options to build a super cheap budget team to sort of use while I'm boosting and upgrading my QPR squad. That's the way I work it. That's the way I look at it. Hope that makes sense. But if you enjoyed this, leave a like on the video, comment down below for other ideas. And if you want to see more link videos like this, hit the sub button and turn notifications on to be told anytime that we upload a video. But for now, guys, thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, wash your hands. Take care.